I think in the marketing industry people have got a little bit frightened by the GDPR, but I don't see it as a, as a negative, it's best practice today. Jenna Tiffany is the founder and strategy director of Let's Talk Strategy. She has a decade of experience in B2C and B2B sectors and is a renowned thought leader in digital marketing. She joins us now on Cloud Moves TV. Jenna, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Real pleasure to have you on. Thank you very much for having me. Now, with less than a year till the EU General Data Protection Act comes into effect, what do companies need to do to make sure they're really ready to hack the changes? Yeah, I think the, the key focus is on data and how you store that data, um, but also making sure that you collect data that you're actually going to use. So um, when I regularly consult with clients, they totally get that, but when it comes to actually collecting data, they want to collect everything, including your inside leg measurement, and you just don't need it. So um, it really is about making sure you're collecting what's needed, you don't keep it longer than necessary, but you also make it really clear to your consumers why, what you're going to do with that data. So your privacy policy is really, really important to make sure that it's in plain English. It's really easy to understand. I think the average reading age now is seven years old. So how many privacy policies are really that easy to understand? I'm not so sure. So that is definitely the key areas that I would say to recommend to look at. Absolutely. And Jenna, how will the EU General Data Protection Act affect customers? And what do you predict the industry is going to look like after May 2018? Yeah, it's a really interesting question because I think in the marketing industry people have got a little bit frightened by the GDPR, but I don't see it as a, as a negative. It's best practice today. It's not just best practice next May. It's actually effective now. Um, and it's things that people should already be doing. Um, so really it's just it's a case of making sure that people abide by the law more than, more than ever before. Um, I think for consumers it means that they're going to have more trust. They're going to know exactly what you're doing with that data. They're going to probably give you more of it because they're going to have more trust from you. Um, so I think for marketers that's a win-win because you have the data that is correct, you have the data that customers actually want to give you and then you start to really build a great relationship. Less than a quarter of marketers feel actually prepared for the changes and a third don't think they'll be compliant when the law actually comes into effect. Why do you think this is? Yeah, I think we've got very complacent. I think um, I think the panic's now setting in now that the clock's ticking and it is less than a year to go. Um, but I've worked with organisations and I've been talking about this for more than two years. So the the changes have been already kind of outlined. The final finishing touches to those in, in areas like profiling, for example, is still the jury's still out on those. So there are still some areas that. You know, consumers and marketers aren't quite aren't quite sure what's going to happen, but there are definitely things that people could be changing today. I think, I think it's the age-old human habit that we just try and leave things to the last minute, um, and I think the biggest change for marketers to try and get implemented is system changes and naturally anything to do with IT takes a really long period of time so I think that's probably hindered quite a lot of marketers but hopefully after my session today a lot of people will walk away with five things that they can go and change immediately. Yeah. Jenna I'm going to take you away from legislation for a minute I want to ask what do you think is going to be the next big thing in digital marketing? Yeah, I think it's a really exciting time for marketing. I think machine learning has a huge way to go. Uh, it's already started to be used in everyday life with science and other industries, but marketing still kind of brinkering on dipping their toe in the water and using that. Um, so I think that is the big next thing. I think it's you know virtual reality. I'm a huge advocate of virtual reality. I think it can really make a better experience for consumers. Um, and the same with AI, it's artificial intelligence. So we've got virtual reality, artificial intelligence and machine learning. What's not to like about marketing? Absolutely. Jenna, you're an incredibly successful woman in technology. Do you think the gender gap within this sector is closing and how have your own personal experiences been? Well, thanks for that, firstly. <laughs> um, for me, I, I started my marketing career in manufacturing industries and within uh, the financial services. And naturally, I would have been the only woman in that room. Um, that was straight out of university. But not once did I feel intimidated. Not once did I feel I didn't have opportunities just because I was a woman. So for me, I, I don't see a huge a huge issue there. I think it's more about women having confidence in themselves um, and to just go after what they think is going to what they're going to make them happy. So I would say that to either a male or, or a female, um, 
do what makes you, what you want to do because that's going to make you a successful person. Jenna, lovely speaking to you. Just one very last question. What would you say to those individuals who actually haven't been able to attend Ungag today and are thinking of coming next year? What would you say to those people? Yeah, so this is my first year at Ungag, so I'm honoured to be part of the family. Um, but you can just tell by the buzz in the room, the buzz by the speakers, the attendees, the organisers, it really is a brilliant event. It's, it's an event for all digital marketers and it is one not to miss off the calendar. Fantastic note to end on. Jenna, thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure to have you on. That's Jenna Tiffany speaking to us here. I'm Emma Boyle and this is Cloud Moves TV.